I look like the hottest of hot messes right now. Let's look at that hair back a little bit. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the chillest unboxing I have had on my channel thus far. It's been a long, a long almost nine hours at work on the computer. I'm tired. Um, I kind of fell into a rabbit hole about BoxyCharm. I have a lot of things to explain. A lot of things. Um, but basically I have no makeup on. I'm refusing to put makeup on because I'm tired. <laughs> My box came so early this month. It's literally the 9th and it came yesterday at the 8th. So that's super early. So I'm just going to give you the little spiel. We're going to get into it. So BoxyCharm is a $25 beauty subscription service. It comes with five full-size products to your door every month. There are two upgrades to the program. Boxy Lux, which I have right here, comes quarterly. It's $50. Or BoxyCharm Premium comes every month in place of or on top of the base box, $35 a month. The values, whatever. I opened my box and I'd seen a, like an unboxing or like a thingy online and I, I was disappointed. Um, I'm going to go through the products in a second here, but I just want to express for a moment. I know that BoxyCharm and Ipsy had this, like, merger that happened at the beginning of the year, and a lot of people were, like, nervous. Like, what does this mean for BoxyCharm? Like, I love the, the products, I love the quality, I love everything about them. Like, will that change? And I was, like, not concerned at all, but I was looking back at my last, like, three boxes specifically for this new year, and even my December box, and I just, like, was not impressed. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but I was disappointed in a lot of them. I've been getting BoxyCharm for almost three or four years now. Um, you know, I love the, I have loved the subscription box. There's only been a few months where I'm like, this just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't really like the things in here. Um, and typically, like, when I find, like, indie brands, like, it doesn't have to have name brands for me, but the products just have to be good quality and they just make sense and typically I found that I found a lot of indie brands I really like in BoxyCharm I feel like that's going to change this month and I'm actually considering canceling definitely I'm definitely think I'm going to cancel my Lux upgrade and I might just cancel the whole subscription <laughs> service altogether so let me go through the products first and then I'll talk more about that let me start with my choice product because I'm actually really excited about that and I've opened it already so for my choice product, I chose the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Now I know what you're all thinking. You have dry skin. You're right. Um, but so many people have loved this foundation. Look at how perfect this is for me. I struggle to find in such a light tone my perfect undertone in it because typically, um, you know, I'm more pinky toned, but I have to go for more neutrals because even neutrals tend to pull on typical foundations more pink or more yellow. They have like a distinct undertone even though they're not really supposed to. So um, I actually did get shade matched, I think a year and a half ago before, before the pandemic hit Fenty and they had shade matched me 140, which was like fair light neutral. So I just went for the fair neutral, which is 120. And I'm excited. This looks like it genuinely has a neutral undertone and I'm like pumped to give this a shot. Uh, get it? Cause it's got a, it's got a pump. This retails for $36. It says this long wearing light as air foundation gives an instantly smooth pore diffused shine free finish. The oil free formula is made with climate adaptive technology. That's resistance to sweat and humidity and won't clog pores so that whatever you, wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin. I'm a little nervous that this is going to be too matte for my skin, but I'm just going to like hyper hydrate it. I might also squirt, ow. I might also squirt some Auric Beauty Glow Lust in this and just give my skin a little bit of something, but this makes me incredibly happy. So I'm just going to obviously like ripped, <laughs> ripped the box open. Uh, this is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic serum. This retails for $42. It says this can concentrated formula is your go-to serum for plump, radiant skin. It's cute because it looks like a plum. Um, this silky water gel serum features a unique blend of three types of plum, hyaluronic acid, and vegan collagen. The formula contains five weights of hyaluronic acid to target different layers of the skin for deep hydration. Yeah, that's something I need and I love Glow Recipe and I've loved being able to try them. I can't smell it, but I only assume it smells like Plum. So I'm excited to try this as well. It was one of the things I was excited to get in the box. I'm gonna save the 
I'm gonna save my rant and the last two products for a reason. Um, the next thing is something I customized along with my foundation, which is this. This is the mini heat brush. It's in the apricot. It looks, I'm not taking it out yet because I'm gonna use it later, but it looks like this. Just a little heat brush from the brand Soleil. This retails for $150. It says the Soleil mini heat brush is, perf is perfect for the on-the-go styling and touch-ups. It's a powerful and easy to use full size, is as powerful and easy to use as a full size tool, but compact enough to carry with you anywhere you go. The rapid heat time and heat resistant bristles allow this cute handy brush to quickly and easily glide through your hair. Safe for all hair types, welcome a new hair tool. I don't know how to use this. I, I think I assumed it was one of those like, god damn, um, those like hair dryer brushes. And I'm thinking this is just like another straightener. There's absolutely no instructions on it. Okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> Moving on. So the next thing I got in the box is the Rose Plus Quartz Hair Mask. It retails for $31 and it says, your touchstone of hair products, the Rose and Quartz Hair Mask suits a spectrum of needs with 0% sulfates, sodium chloride, parabens, PEGs, or sulfates. Uh, it suits all hair types and is safe for use with all chemical processes. Vegan and certified cruelty-free made with love in the USA. So I'm actually kind of excited to try this. I don't, I do not like hair products in boxes. I do not, what the hell? I was gonna smell this, but I can't open it. Oh, thank God I got it, let's see. It's gonna have the thing over, yeah. Oh, it smells heavenly. It smells really good. I'm actually kind of excited to try this. This is an, e an easy hair product that I can learn how to use. I can put it up in my hair and, you know, wash my body and shave a little bit and, you know, sing a little music and then wash that baby out. So I'm, I'm kind of excited for that one too. Retails for $31. Next thing in the box is from Dominique Cosmetics. My first ever time using... Oh wait, I got a palette. This is my first lip product from Dominique Cosmetics. This is a creamy fill and define lip liner. I got the shade Crush. This retails for $18, which is a pretty typical price for a lip liner. This is cute. Oh, a very beautiful um, rosy shade. Fine and fill your lips with this unique teardrop shaped liner. Narrow with a tip for precision and wider at the bottom to fill. It's infused with clean, good for you ingredients like vitamin E to protect you from free radicals boost circulation, smooth fine lines, and keep lips pillowy soft. This silky long-lasting demi-matte finish is so light and breathable, you'll forget you're wearing it. So that is that. That's pretty cool. I've never had a lip product from before. The next product in the box is from Beauty Bakery. It's actually a little carton of eggs. I'm gonna mention this here. I feel like this would have been a cuter thing for Easter, but what do I know? BoxyCharm doesn't even really do themes anymore, so what do I know? So these are blending eggs. This retails for $18 for all of these. Wow, that's a good price. Oh, and there's six of them. I've never tried the Beauty Bakery um, sponges, but I'll give them a try. I've been using my Eco Tools one that you can actually, um, it's compostable because I feel like that's a little thing I can do to help the environment. And honestly, it works just as well as my Real Techniques one, if not better. I actually think I like this one a little better than my Real Techniques one. So these are the products that I was excited about in the box. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give you the last two and then voice my, my qualms with this. So this is, um, from a Bu Beauty, B Beauty London. This is the Barbella palette and it looks like looks like this this says it retails for $50 do I believe that no it says meet the black book of color with subtle shades to straight up blasts of color Jet milled pigments deliver intensely saturated, light reflective shades with gorgeous textures, plush long lasting and non creasy, silky, and velvety finishes. <sighs> Look, I'm fair, so this would work on me. I don't feel like this is a palette that universally would fit a lot of skin tones. I mean, to be honest, these shades are all pretty much the same, and I feel like on my eyes, they would all genuinely look 
pretty similar. There's no need to have literally one, two, three, four, five, six of the same fucking color <laughs> in a palette. And this is something that everybody got in their Lux boxes, and I feel like this is just like... What? There's four matte shades. One that is super, super light that I don't even think I could use as a transition shade. A bright fucking blue. A deep chocolate and then a, like, charcoal-y black. I have questions. I have so many questions. But also... This just is not it for me. And I really think at this point, this palette is definitely not worth $50. I even read somewhere that this is not the actual price of it. And I think it's just at this point there to boost up the value of the box. I'm not even going to touch this. I'm going to pass it on to somebody. I'm really disappointed in this. Um, and there's this... When Lux first came out, it was like status. Like, I'm paying extra money for products that... Like I said, they don't have to be the big name brands. I don't need Charlotte Tilbury in here, but I need things that are interesting, brands that are exciting, um, products that I wouldn't typically buy, you know, something just different. And I feel like it was, it was elite, you know, like the base box, everybody gets cool, but if you want to spend a little bit more, we give you a little bit more. The base box looked so much better this month, and I still have one more product to rant about, so let's just get that. This is the AMNH skincare kiss the stars 24 karat gold lip plumping mask retails for $42 this 42 karat gold and biodegradable glitter star plumping lip mask will moisturize and nourish your lips expect a tingling sensation and softer kissable lips this smells like paint <laughs> it smells even worse than paint it smells like bubblegum mint with a hint of expired paint. It looks in here like jelly. No part of me would want to put a plumping lip mask on my lips. No part of me would spend $42 on a product like this. I, this is another reason why I feel this is one of those products that they just like boosted. Like, okay, we can get an extra $100 basically with these two products to say like our value for this box is $400, $500. Instead of like taking the time, like I said, I'd rather have products that were cheaper but were curated better. I had tweeted the fact that I was really disappointed in this box looking at it because like, to be completely honest with you, the only things I'm excited for are the Fenty foundation that I picked, the Glow Recipe Serum, and I guess the hair care products, but I wasn't, I'm not super pumped for the blending eggs, I'm not super pumped for the hair care, I'm not even super pumped for the mini heat brush, but it was the best of the choice products. And these two, these last two that I just gave you are like, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't want to sound like I'm putting any brand down because I'm not, I'm genuinely just, I feel like they were put here to boost the price of the box and for nothing else. I don't feel like there was any thought put into really any of these products. When I first used to get Boxy Lux, I remember one month it was like flower themed and everything had pastel packaging or everything was like a pastel pink color or something like it used to really make sense like this theme lucky it doesn't tie to any of the products like it's it's so lazy i don't know and maybe that's me being like a little too critical i know i'm still getting like a lot of product for the price i pay but then when i had tweeted someone was like well did you hear about the scandal and i was like scandal so then i googled it and there had basically been a scandal about a year and a half ago, two years ago now at this point. Um, a few of them, I guess. I, I had, I watched a whole Jen Loves Review thing on it and where like Ciate London and another brand had changed, like the ingredients on the packaging did not match the ingredients on the website. Um, and then they had reached out to them and the company had changed them. And there's an, another thing where Storybook Cosmetics, I guess, is a made in the USA company, but the palette that um, they got was made in China, which is fine, but um, people were saying, like, like, they're trying to give you cheaper products and all these things, and I don't necessarily feel like I've gotten any products like that, but it made me anxious enough that I did read the ingredient list for both of these on Sephora and here, and, and they did match up, and I was just thinking, like, sometimes I get products 
that were like really dry and I was like are these dried out or is this just how the product is it, it got me thinking so this is the second boxycharm looks that I've kind of been disappointed in because on top of the fact that there's like no theme ever I feel like they don't take our beauty quizzes into account because <laughs> if you read my beauty quiz I really don't want any hair care I don't know what to do with my hair it's in a bun today I haven't washed it I don't I don't do much with my hair. The only thing that I have used, I think I got in a boxy Lux one time, was the IGK Hydrating Mistress Hair Balm. And I actually, I, I usually stockpile those when I find it on add-ons. And I checked the ingredient list for that too because I was so anxious about that. Um, and I was like, does this feed me anymore? Like, I'm putting money into this. And granted, like, with these two products, I got what I paid for in the box. But then... It, what do I do with these products I don't want? Like, what do I do with these products that don't excite me? What do I do with these products that feel cheap, that feel just thrown in? Like, what do I do with them? Do I feel okay giving them to somebody else? Will somebody else be happy with it? I don't, you know, there's like a lot of things going on in my mind. Just, I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling some type of way about BoxyCharm. I'm not even going to total up the value of this month's box because it's definitely skewed by the fact that this and that palette is in there. Who is that palette made for is my question. Um, I don't usually complain in these BoxyCharm videos because, like I said, I, I have been getting this service for so long and usually it brings me so much joy. But now I just have annoyance. And I, <laughs> I looked at the premium box, which is $35 a month, and it looked so lackluster. Like, there's no theme. There's no theme. BoxyCharm Lucky, I didn't see that in any of the boxes. And... I don't know if that's because of this merger or what, and I was like, maybe I should try Ipsy, and I was like, wait, <laughs> they're owned by the same company. So I, I have to really seriously take a step back and, like, look at myself and look at BoxyCharm and look at my collection and, like, do I want to continue this service? I might try, like, another two months of the regular box, but I do not think I'll be upgrading anymore because I do not feel like the upgrade is anything more than what I typically could get in a base box. I will be doing another video where I think I'm going to be testing out this foundation and just chatting with you all because, you know, it's, I haven't done that in a while. Um, and I don't know, I miss, I miss YouTube when I'm away. I just, it's hard for me to film sometimes, um, in the, in the climate of, of the world, but, uh, we'll see. If anyone has the same feelings about BoxyCharm, you can leave them down below. Um, we can grieve together what once used to be such a great subscription service. Um, and perhaps you guys will convince me to stay. Like I said, I'm definitely not keeping the Lux box. I'm only keeping it for, like, priority for add-ons, and then I'm, t I'm done with this Lux box. Um, so, yeah, guys, that is it for today. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can follow me there. I do some history cool stuff on TikTok. You can follow me there. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>